For those into home film development, you've probably heard of the name Jobo, and if you haven't, this is one of the Jobo variations. This is my personal Jobo CPE2+. Plus. For those unaware, certain film development processes require very strict temperature management. And by this, I mean that they require your chemicals to be at a very specific temperature. And this is where a machine like the Jobo comes in. There are many variations to the Jobo machine. Some are very manual and are essentially just rollers and require you to do all of the work. Some are fully automatic. You just press a button and don't have to worry about anything else. Most people are going to buy a machine that falls somewhere in the middle, somewhere between fully manual and fully automatic, something like the CPE2+. Plus. Machines like the CPE, CPA, CPP essentially allow you to do two things. They keep your chemicals and tank at a certain temperature via the water bath, and the machine agitates the tank for you at a predetermined speed. These two factors contribute to consistency because if you were to try to manually manage the temperature and also manually hand invert, human error comes into play and can ultimately affect the final result. This leads me to the topic of this video. Is a Jobo worth it? Well, like most things in life, the answer isn't as black and white and it isn't as straightforward as you would think. It's essentially a yes and a no. So I'm just going to give you my opinions from my personal experiences with this machine and you can determine for yourself whether or not it is worth it if you're planning on picking one up. In my opinion, you have to be developing a lot of film for this machine to be worth it. I personally picked this one up on eBay for a little bit under $600. This one was new old stock, meaning that even though it is old and discontinued, this particular machine has never been used, so it is technically new. As the name indicates, the CPE2 is the second model in this line. The plus just means that it's the upgraded and newer version of the CPE2 line. And the newer current models are the CPE3 and the CPP3. The CPE line is smaller and comes with four slots for chemical containers and graduated cylinders, whereas the CPP is generally much larger and comes with six slots for six chemical holders and six graduated cylinders. New machines range from 1700 to 3800 give or take depending on if you're going to buy with the Jobo Lift or not. The Jobo Lift is about $600 and it further adds to the consistency theme of this machine. These prices are of course only for the machine. You will need to invest in new proprietary tanks that only work with this machine. So you will need new tanks and to make those tanks work with this machine, you will need at least a magnet to allow to attach to this motor right here. And then from there, if you're using the motor lift, you will need cogs, you need this, that. The point is you need to invest in a lot of different things right off the bat to actually use your Jobo. And like I was saying at the beginning, you have to be developing a lot of film for this machine to be worth it. At least that or you have to really care about consistency in the final output of your film or you just have a lot of money to blow. I mean, if you have the money at the end of the day, it's a nice thing to have. I want you to know though, owning a Jobo does not mean that the film development process will be effortless. You are very much so still attached to the whole development scheme of things. You still have to sit there, watch development times, you still have to change chemicals and at the end of the day clean everything out. This is by no means an automatic machine. Like I said, these Jobos really only do two things. They keep your chemicals at a steady temperature and they agitate for you. And when I think of things in this regard, it is almost clear in my mind at least that a Jobo is not really worth it, especially for the price of a new one. That's why I've made videos on this channel to show you guys an alternative to the Jobo. Alternative ways to get similar results. So definitely check those out if you're interested in picking something like this up. Don't get me wrong, having a Jobo is nice, but it is a luxury. It isn't absolutely necessary and it is a little bit over the top. People have been developing in their sinks, in their bathrooms, in their bathtubs for who knows how long, and they have been getting good results. So I don't want you to think that having a machine like this is absolutely necessary. You can get very consistent results just working from your bathroom. To me, a machine like the Jobo should be the last thing that you should pick up. I think there are better ways to invest your money. Invest in the film, your camera gear, invest in yourself, learn to manually develop using, you know, like hand inversions and just various ways to develop film. And if you think that you are really getting mediocre results, try setting it into a professional lab. Have them develop some film for you and maybe compare one to one 
to see if your results are really that much different from what a professional is producing. And I think really, I, I don't know if I can really recommend just outright buying a Jobo to anyone. It's really one of those things that you have to be really, really committed to shooting film to buy one. Because at the end of the day, if you're just gonna pick up the hobby, shoot a couple rolls, get bored, you know, like, why buy it? I would suggest really, like I said, learning to develop film in your bathroom or wherever your darkroom is. Try that out for a few months, a few years. Before. I shot film for like three, four years before I bought this thing, so it's definitely feasible. I mean, if I can develop in my bathroom, in my kitchen, I'm sure you can. It's not that hard. Film development is very straightforward. You may mess up, but you know what? It's a learning process, and that's why you're partially why you're shooting film. It's not like digital. It's not just plugging it into the computer and getting your final results. It's about the process. And the, I, that's what it's all about. And I hope this video has helped you in your decision to buy a Jobo or not and considering whether or not this machine is worth it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share, comment if you have any comments on a Jobo or if you have any questions about the machine itself. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.